We know that we need new drugs to treat leukemia. We've treated leukemia with the same combinations of drugs for several decades now. It works quite well in children. We cure the majority of children with leukemia, though with considerable toxicity. But adults, we don't do a very good job. We can get patients into remission, but the leukemia almost always recurs and is fatal when it recurs. And we can find drugs on plastic dishes, but those don't always translate very well to killing leukemia cells in an organism or in a human. And so we wanted to develop an approach to see if we could screen lots of different targets and see which ones kill leukemia cells inside an animal. And so we developed an animal model of leukemia that develops leukemia inside a mouse and used an approach called in vivo RNA interference screening to find therapeutic targets in those leukemias. And that approach enables us to knock down or inhibit lots and lots of different potential therapeutic targets at the same time in one mouse. But if we could find all the things that kill a leukemia cell and then take those list of things that say which ones kill a normal cell, we can identify the ones that kill the, the bad cells and not the, the good ones. And we were able to not just find one, but able to find several proteins that act together in a, in a biological pathway. And if you inhibit any of those proteins, you would kill the leukemia cells that we studied. And some are potentially ready to move forward into clinical trials quite quickly. So that genetic screen was funded as a collaboration between the HSCI and GlaxoSmithKline to identify new therapeutic targets for the treatment of cancer stem cells. And that's a focus of our laboratory. And so this was a very good fit and HSCI funding and interest and advice really fostered this project.